everyone, welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm working today on this lovely little, what is it? It's a 25, 25 by 50 centimetre canvas. I've put my masking tape on the back. It protects it from getting a dirty bottom. And then my giant push pins, um, which you're knocking with a hammer. So, and then you can just twist them out, wiggle them at the, when the painting's dry, wiggle them, pull them out. It just keeps it up off your surface and you can tilt and put it back down. Really handy tools. All the um, links to what I use are in the description box below this video in the drop down box. Uh, so, and you will find links to beginners videos. So that comes in very handy. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a lovely um, turquoise as my main color on this and then go on from there with some embellishments. Uh, hopefully they're gorgeous. So we'll pop on the gloves, keep the little pinkies clean and um, on we go. So what I'm going to do with this actual one, I'm going to pour my lovely um, turquoise around the outside edges and I'm going to actually use my little sponge brush today to brush this in and down the side so I'll get nice even coverage. And I probably could do with thinning that paint down just slightly because I can feel that it feels a little bit on the creamy side so if I go to manipulate it blow it around or such it'll um, be a little bit more difficult but I don't like my paints too thin on the canvas because they always then have got more opportunity to go muddy so that's a beautiful colour, really lovely, really lovely. Oops, go on. Get a bit sloppy. Is that covered? You can always do any touch-ups with your sides afterwards, it's not, no big deal. In order but I definitely need to thin what I've got left in there so just do some curves in it that should be beautiful really want to try a, a large canvas in this particular technique so with the I'm going to paint that I have left I want to thin it down a bit so I'm just gonna add this is Australian flow troll in here so I could add a bit of water, I could add some more of my pouring medium, but I'm going to add some, oh, oops, silly jilly, never mind, we'll fix it up, it'll mix in, I can blow it off. So it's just thinned it down and that'll actually help give it some real nice wisp, wispy um, cells, if that's what you want in there. It's just the flow troll will always dry clear so it's no big worry about it I'll leave that to the side so what better to blow out in there that would go lovely with this is some of well it's actually I think it's metallic purple but I would actually like to use some nay uh, I think this is the uh, phalo blue, if I remember rightly. So I think I'm going to use this on my inside of my kind of ghost, ghosty. I'm calling it ghost technique because you sort of blow it out and it just reminds me the tentrals or the sort of arms of a 
ghost. Not that there are many hang around in my life, but you know what I mean. And then I will add some more of this absolutely delicious colour around the edges to make sure I've got some nice colour to blow out to. Um, Probably could have added even a bit, I could have thinned it a bit more, I reckon. But that colour is just beautiful and those colours go lovely together. So I suppose I better put my cup in my cup holder <clears throat> and get my little trusty blow dryer. Now I found this little blow dryer in a charity shop and I have not found the exact one for sale. So people ask me all the time but I have just ordered something similar, so I'll let you know if it works like this one. Okay, we're gonna blow this out to begin with. Just on low, take your time. I would like a little bit more of that lovely um, turquoise left, but it, it's okay, it'll work out. Where it seems to be a little bit sort of thicker, the paint, it, it will absorb into the canvas fine and dry quite well doesn't normally pose a problem. It just looks a bit kind of iffy wiffy, rightio. So what would I like to do in the centre? So we might try blowing some of these nice big blooms out. So I'll use that as my base colour again the uh, turquoise and blow some nice big blooms out and what better colour to go with that would be the red I think this particular one is the warm red isn't it yeah the warm red oh love these colours love 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 beautiful warm red. I'm going to add a bit of that. I think it is. I'm not sure. It's a new colour I had. I think it is a navy. It was a new colour from um, the new paint suppliers uh, Solid Solutions. So it looks a very dark sort of black navy. I, I do usually make my own navy up, but I did use that one. So, and the next one, I've got, this is um, some of the gold, the Montmartre's acrylic pouring paint. So that's pre-made, but I did add a little bit of Floetrol on it. So I'll put a bit of gold in there. We're gonna have some bling. She said a little bit, I went OTT with that one. And then I think I need to just finish it off with a, oh, I think I might finish it off with a little bit of black. This particular black is Amsterdam black and it's mixed with Australian Floetrol. Now I, in lots of others that you'll see me do, I have used the um, just ordinary black but I want to try and get some laciness happening in these centre blooms so they actually do look like 
proper, you know, blooms. See how we go anyway. See how we go. You have to try it, I guess. I'm not sure whether to blow it out with my dryer. I think I will. Um, bear with me because they look kind of a mess when you do them, but I will work with them and I can assure you they'll look a lot better. So I'll take it nice and slow. Oh my goodness, look at those gorgeous cells coming up in that gold, that is really nice. Just let me give it a whiz over with my heat one and I want to bring you down to have a look at these cells. I don't like that there's so much thickness in the middle, that's why I use my balloon as a tool to sort of add some like real petal looks but really wish I'd got a big amount of the turquoise on the outside. So it is just showing me that I really need to do this um, on a large canvas. I think before I bring you down to look at these absolutely wonderful, wonderful cells, I will use my balloon that's gone down and it kind of looks like a potato. So I won't do it that way to begin with, I'll do it like this beautiful still work with it you can still add a lot lot more to those centers to bring them up so much nicer so I just get my one balloon that has a little bit of water in it so it's just an ordinary size balloon but I put a bit of water in for the weight it seems to really help me create a really nice center in my blooms so that's a really a cheat bloom that's a really easy way to do blooms without all the um different products i'm going to bring you down because that the colors are beautiful that we're that's really lovely colors even that little bit of red in there just draws you you know eye again to something interesting so these absolutely stunning effects. It's just glistening, sparkling. It's that gold that really set that off with those colors. And then using the Amsterdam Black and Floetrol. I have got some gold Amsterdam back uh, uh, coming and few other colors that are not black or white so I'm going to use them as cell activators look at that wow 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 look at these aren't they really gorgeous so you could take macro pictures on your phone really nice photos of these and and get separate prints or you can create your own um thingy for your phone what do you call it like your wallpaper for your phone see how the gold has blown out so it's like around the edges of that i am super happy with that one that's super gorgeous look 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 so i am so happy with that i hope you love it too wait until the end to see the results up on the wall of um it's called picture wall app so it lets you see the different size prints that you could get for your work to blow them up or the original size or whatever you wanted to do but you certainly could um, there's lots of options there absolutely love this one I want to do a big one now okie doke until tomorrow take care my lovelies bye for now